Hi, this is Dr. Foster, and this is the first in a series of videos on pain and how to get out of it. So this first video is about muscle pain and muscle tension, how to relieve your pain. You can also reshape your body and reduce your stress with the method that I'm going to discuss with you today. So if you're in chronic pain, if you have fibromyalgia, if you have an old injury, tension headaches, or any other type of pain in your muscles, you need to know the information in this video. So today I'm here with Diane Doban and she's a certified instructor of something called Yamana body rolling and she's going to explain how to use it to help your muscles and your muscle pain. So Diane, um, what are your personal experiences with pain and what led you to this technique? So why do you do this? I was drawn to it because I am a retired ballet dancer mm -hmm. and I still enjoy dancing. That's my passion. Um, the classes are extremely strenuous and I noticed as each year went by I was injured more and more often and then it got to the point where I had chronic pain. Uh -oh. I went a year with my hamstrings on fire. Ouch. Lots and lots of hip pain. Um, I would go and get a massage. I would do this, acupuncture, I would try everything. I finally found something that lasts and works for me okay. with Yamana body rolling. Right, so you had tried a lot of things like a lot of people do and you still weren't getting relief. Right. And finally found this. Great. So, um, so what is this technique? It's Yamana body rolling. And um, why should people do it? Um, it's an excellent way to uh, help you with your pain that you can do yourself. You don't have to go to someone's office and pay uh -huh. them. So one thing, it's, there's a financial thing about that. Right. Once you learn the routines, you can do them on your own. And mm -hmm. if you're good about it and stick with it, it'll help your pain. Okay. About how long do you think it takes? It depends. It, some people see an immediate difference in their bodies. Other people take a little bit longer. But I'd say most people, it's pretty immediate relief. Mm -hmm. Oh, and just to, to uh, clarify here, we're talking about rolling on different size balls with your body. And um, you can do this at home. Um, or you can go to a class that Diane is teaching. Um, what, sorts of, what sort of problems can be helped by Yamana body rolling? Chronic shoulder pain, chronic knee pain, hip pain, mm -hmm. pretty much any pain that you have we can address that. Are there any people that should not do it? Um, no, there are no age restrictions. The, there's you're not too old. You're never too old to do this. <laughs> never. Um, there is um, one thing that you, one condition that if you have it, then you should not do Yamana body rolling, and that's mm -hmm. bone cancer. Okay. And that's the only right. thing I know of. I've, I've have a lot of patients that are affected by fibromyalgia. Could this help with that? Yes, it's from, from what I understand about fibromyalgia and the, the clients that have done this work is that it's given them their life back. It's something that's very personal. Pain is very personal to everybody and it varies. And I've had a lot of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so they can address their own pain at their own pace and it enables them to actually listen to their body a little bit better. So yes, a lot of success with fibromyalgia. Right, so, so no like going to a massage therapist that's not getting in there deep enough or getting in there too deep or just you know, not getting in the right areas. You actually have control over it. You control the pressure, everything. It's great. great. So that's a great benefit. Um, how about nerve pain? What if somebody's got like a neuropathy or something like that, or neuritis? Um, with nerve pain, if the nerves are being compressed mm -hmm. by bones or lack of space, we can go in there and create space, mm -hmm. therefore alleviating that, that nerve pain. If it's some other type of nerve pain, maybe not, but if it's caused by compression, certainly we can help. Ah, how do you get compression? Just muscle tension? Muscle tension, like spinal compression. We can go into the spine and actually create space, therefore helping with the nerve pain. So how, when you roll on these balls, what does it do? Like what happens in the muscles when you put pressure on them? Well, first of all, we start with the bones. So these balls are designed really well to sink into the bones and joints. So you activate the bone first. From there, you go into the tendon and only then do you work into the actual muscle. So 
it's there's a certain order that it goes in and a certain logic. Okay, right. so you have to start at the point of origin and, and then work your way out. And there is a certain order to this, right? So yeah. you so you could just roll on balls at home, but it's better to know like there's a, there's a very elaborate technique and and system for doing it with the different size balls and getting into the different you know, size muscles and things like that. So, um, and even today we were doing um, two balls at once and, and working even on as many as three muscle groups, yeah. which was kind of amazing. Um, is this painful to do this, the Yamana body rolling? It's, well, there's good pain and there's bad pain and everybody knows the difference, I hope. Um, sometimes good pain means that the muscle is starting to release. If it's a sharp, bad pain, I would back off a little bit right. and move on to the next spot. Right. So like today I was feeling like this, oh good, I got into yeah, it, yeah. like the good pain, like oh finally something got in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who developed this technique? Ah, Yamana Sake, um, a beautiful woman in New York. Um, she was a yoga teacher. She still teaches yoga, I think. So she came up with this entire technique based on an injury that she suffered with the same reason she'd gone to all these different doctors uh -huh. for a hip injury and nothing helped and so she came up with this technique to heal herself and now she's been sharing it with everyone worldwide uh, and she teaches everywhere she's everywhere she's in Italy she's in Japan she's in Europe um, all over incredible teacher what kind of I'm just wondering how did she injure her hip um, from what I understand she'd had a baby and she was, you know, after she had the baby, she was in New York City, stepped off a curb, mm -hmm. and then felt the injury, and just excruciating pain. So first she had a baby, and her ligaments were loose, Probably, and then she stepped yeah. off the curb the wrong way, and boom, that was it. And, yeah. and then for the rest of the, the time, she couldn't walk straight, or, or she had pain while walking. Just pain, incredible All pain, the time. So. Um, it's just what brings people into techniques like this is that they're in incredible pain. So just want to encourage the, those of you out there that have a lot of pain, that, that others have been through what you're, you're going through and they've found a solution. Uh, is there anything that Yamana body rolling would not help? Like any kind of muscle pain or besides the bone cancer that we Besides that, we discussed? that yeah, no, it, it addresses everything. And even today you mentioned something about that you can you can roll in the front of your body and the back and when you get into some of the the abdominal area that sometimes people don't need to take their their diabetes medicine. They, they can activate their pancreas. Yeah, you tone your organs by rolling in the front of the body. Um, it's very important to know what you're doing first. So take a lesson, find out what parts of the, air, the body to avoid, but definitely it can tone the organs. Also, for if you have um, IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, mm -hmm. it can help with that. And again, you know, everybody's different and everybody responds differently, but I think that's very important that you have control over the technique and that you can, um, you can adjust the pressure and, and adjust the speed and, and how much you do. Um, are there any amazing things that you've seen happen with this technique? Oh. Yes. <laughs> Probably too many to even cite here, but just a really simple example. We had a client that was had really tight hamstrings, and so we muscle checked him before we started the work. Uh -huh. and he was really tight, and we rolled just one leg, the whole hamstring, we rolled the leg. And then afterwards, we had him stand up, and he checked his hands, you know, bending over, and the one was four inches longer. Oh wow, he released that much tension. His arm literally was four inches longer. Well, his hamstring was bending so much more. He was bending over. And so oh. there was a four inch difference. Oh. Or, you know, if somebody rolls out their shoulder, if you look at them afterwards, you can visibly see a difference. Like the shoulder drops the down. The shoulder dropping down. It's just amazing. And then after he did the other side, was he? And then he, he was, was equal. even, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, what else? Anything else amazing? Um, one lady was, she was doing some neck work with us mm -hmm. and after the class she went, oh my God, my neck wrinkles are gone. So it's like, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so those of you that are worried about getting older or showing your age, then this is, you might want to look into this. Um, and definitely if you have good posture, then that's, um, you can look younger just by having good posture. 
Um, and this is perfect for that, for because um, I know a lot of people, they work at a desk mm -hmm. and they're forward mm -hmm. all day long and, and they get into, they get kind of stuck that way and their shoulders hunch over. So, so you, can, you can change that, you can roll all of that out. Can this technique help people with stress, anxiety, emotional issues? Um, definitely. I, especially for emotional issues, it's some people, especially if you've had a trauma, some sort of childhood trauma or even sexual trauma, uh -huh. you really are not comfortable with someone else touching you. Right. So right, the I've balls, yeah, you can go into the abdomen with the balls. There's something that you are in control of, so you feel mm -hmm. safe. Right. And then as far as um, stress and, and just anxiety, a lot of our spinal routines, they're very, very relaxing, and they kind of put you into um, a relaxed, meditative state and it's mm -hmm. it's really nice to do some of them before you go to bed just this up one side of the okay. spine up the other side it can maybe help you get to sleep yes then. yes oh great so if you have insomnia you want to check this out uh, what what all do you need for it how many how many different sizes of balls do we have um well we have we have the big one the, the gold big gold one. ball this is our friendly okay. ball um and we have these little black balls they come in a set of two and then we have a silver ball, which is for using the larger muscles. It's a little bit harder. Right. And then we also have a pearl ball, which is a little bit smaller than the gold ball. Mm -hmm. And that's it. That's all you need. So you're teaching. We're in um, Pasadena area right now. We're mm -hmm. in Altadena. And so if you're in this area, please come find Diane um, because she can teach you everything you need to know about body rolling and how to do it for yourself. Um, how can people reach you otherwise? you have a Facebook page? I have a Facebook page now. Um, it's Yamana LA, all one word. So you'd say it, Yamana La. <laughs> so Yamana is Y-A-M-U-N-A. -A, right. And then L-A. Right. Okay. LA. And then we should be getting a website soon. A website soon. <laughs> and <laughs> and then you can read about all the amazing things that it can do for you. All right. Uh, so. Um, what, uh, what message do you want to leave people with? Um, if you're in pain, do something for yourself. Do whatever you can to take care of yourself um, instead of putting your fate into other people's hands all the time. Oh, I know um, a lot of people get addicted to painkillers. Yeah, yeah. And uh, those things are so awful. Like, um, I had a grandmother in terrible pain, and she took uh, buffered aspirin. And she also took other medications, and she literally got an ulcer so severe it bled. She vomited blood. She passed out in the bathroom, and she had to be rushed to the hospital, and she needed a blood transfusion. So these are the pretty awful things that can happen to you when you take those painkillers. And also, there is something to, to be said for, for the whole passivity of just waiting for the doctor to do something about it. When, when we have the techniques, to do something for ourselves, and and so it's it's amazing that um, that I get to interview Diane and get to share this technique with you guys um, because you're really going to benefit, and um, I can't speak highly enough about it. Um, I've I've been um, with Diane for three lessons now, and I've really um, gotten into some muscles that that were hurt. I had seizures for four years. I dislocated my shoulder so many times. I had um, really severe pain. So this is uh, something that's really helped me, and I hope that it'll help you too. The body okay. wants to heal. Your body is an incredible organism, and it wants to take care of itself. So you can take care of it too. Right, yes. Mm -hmm. And I also cured those seizures without the doctors, without medications, and without surgery. So um, we are both kind of, you know, miracle stories here <laughs> <laughs> well thank you so much for watching thanks for joining us and make sure you watch the next uh, series on pain and how to get out of it okay bye bye, -bye. take you. care take care of yourself <laughs>